Car enthusiasts always want to know about others' car collections, don't they? Well, today we've got a treat for you guys. We are going to take a look at Mike Brewer's car collection. Let's take a look at one of the most famous car traders' car collection, Mike Brewer. Mike Brewer was born to Roger Wilkes and Doreen Fitzgerald in Lambeth, London in 1964. Mike's father, Roger, used to own a Ford Popular nicknamed Mr. Popstar and was highly involved in vehicle customization, which aided him in discovering his enthusiasm for cars. A beige Mini 850cc was Brewer's first car. Driven on Channel 4, Deals on Wheels, Pulling Power, Rex to Riches, Auto Trader, Wheeler Dealers, and Wheeler Dealers Trading Up are among Brewer's television programs. All of these shows have now been shown on the Discovery Channel, with the exception of Driven and Pulling Power. He has appeared in the Revved Up series, in which cars are modified, and he hosts Sky Sports coverage of the British Rally Championship. He has hosted a show called Remote Madness, in which individuals compete in a multi-challenge race with remote-controlled tiny automobiles, boats, planes, and helicopters. The Wheeler Dealer This show was made with a DIYer in mind. The cost and thus any profit or loss for a given project are calculated without taking into account the mechanic's labor costs. But repairs that require professional assistance, such as body resprays, complicated electronics, or windscreen replacements are added to the final cost. Each vehicle's service history, bodywork issues, such as rust, dents, worn out interiors, and accessories are also discussed. Vehicles that have been inactive for a long time or that have been imported from other countries are restored and modified to pass the country's statutory MOT test. Screen Advertisement Brands love to take up opportunities to showcase their products and attract customers. The same is the case with the Wheeler Dealer, where different brand owners contact the show makers to promote their products. Wheeler Dealers, like the majority of comparable shows, have a lot of on-screen advertising. Tool, supply, and equipment logos are readily displayed at all times. Parts and subsystems specialists, as well as upholsters and others, always receive enough coverage in exchange for favorable pricing negotiations. Parts and equipment are sometimes given out for free. 1972 Citroën SM 2.7 The Citroën SM is a classic car from a French manufacturer. It utilizes a 170 horsepower Maserati V6 to build on the ID DS's quirky popularity. The French GT debuted at the 1970 Geneva Motor Show and has since earned a reputation as one of France's most prestigious automobiles. Brewer's example has been completely dismantled and restored. It was unveiled at the 2018 NEC Classic Motor Show after the repair was completed, and it went on to win a Concours de Elegance prize at the National Citroën event. Brewer isn't the only TV star who has gotten behind the wheel. This car was driven by Jeremy Clarkson for an episode of the Grand Tour. 1976 Mini Cooper, 1275S, and 1961 Austin 7 Mini, 1961. Phil Reed, an American automotive aficionado, previously owned a pair of Mini Coopers. The 1961 Austin 7 Mini as a Mark I model with a floor-mounted starter button, which was removed early in the Mini's production run. Meanwhile, John Cooper's 1967 Mini Cooper 1275S was a car he regularly drove before being shipped to California in the 1980s. While filming for Wheeler Dealers, Brewer came across the Phil Reed collection and managed to snag the two Minis, bringing them back to the UK. 1966 Ford Cortina Lotus Mark I The Lotus Cortina, a racy two-door sedan built in the United Kingdom from 1963 to 1970, is a touring vehicle legend. It has a 1557cc engine and one that has raced in the European Touring Car Championship in 2019, sold for a staggering $270,437. While Brewer's example is unlikely to reach that level, they are extremely desirable automobiles. His car is finished in ermine white and Sherwood green and was initially registered in 1966. It was eventually restored completely in 1999 during an eight-year period with no expense spared, with great care and attention to detail. 2002 Ferrari 360 Spider F1 Mike Brewer's collection concludes with a 2002 Ferrari 360 Spider. A 3.6-liter naturally aspirated V8 engine delivers 394 horsepower to the rear wheels of the 360 Spider. 
The Tour de France Blue Ferrari, which isn't quite a classic yet, is regarded as an on-the-button example with a tremendous history. Spin-offs on the show Wheeler Dealers Trading Up, a spin-off series, premiered in April 2013. Brewer travels across the world buying and selling, but not repairing or restoring second-hand vehicles in different nations on a specified budget in this series produced by X2 Productions. He starts with $3,000 and works his way up to the Porsche 911 by trading his way through the series. Discovery Channel International recommissioned it for a second season in which Brewer buys a Ferrari. In January of 2020, a second spinoff series titled Wheeler Dealer's Ideal Car debuted with Brewer and technician Mark Elvis Priestley giving their skills to help clients add value to their automobiles and trade up to their dream vehicle. Click on one of the four videos on your screen right now and we'll catch you guys in the next one.